say goodbye to 99.99% of germs. It kills 99.9% of germs, including the common cold virus. Ye 99.9% germs mari sirf 10 second mein. You must have seen soap ads many times, either on your TV or on any social media platform, in which the soap maker claims that their soap is capable of killing up to 99.9% germs. But what about that 0.1%? Why do soap makers always claim to kill 99.9% of germs during advertising? Let us know the real truth behind this. Our skin is the largest organ of the body and they act as protection on our body. It is made up in such a way that no microorganisms can enter inside it. But if we look at the microorganisms, then they are present in every corner of the world, whether it is sea, mountain or flat land. And also, there are many such bacteria which are present inside our body. But the bacteria which are present inside the body are very useful for our health. But on the other hand, there are many such microorganisms that can badly affect human health and these microorganisms causes communicable disease. Most of them are spread through our hands. These environmental microorganisms stick with the oil present on our skin and remain there for a long time. But as soon as when we rub the soap on the skin, it causes the microorganisms present on our skin to lose its grip with the skin and it flows away with the water. In fact, most soaps only work to remove microorganisms from our skin. They can never completely kill microorganisms. There are only a few soaps that actually work to kill microorganisms like bar soap which contains alkaline compounds that destroy the cell wall of the microorganisms. Alcohol proves to be much better in completely destroying the microorganisms present on the skin of which the two most commonly used alcohols are ethanol and isopropanol. The use of alcohol is very high in the medical field because the process of disinfection of different types of microorganisms goes on continuously. But using alcohol or its compounds for homes can prove to be very dangerous. That's why most of the soaps used in the household use oil with sodium hydroxide and potassium hydroxide which contains very little amount of alcohol. But most of soaps do not contain alcohol at all. In such a condition, the question arises that are soaps made from oil capable of killing microorganisms? All companies in their advertising claim to kill 99.9% of germs instead of 100%. If the company claims in advertising that their product is 100% effective, then it can be sued to avoid lawsuits on false claims. Companies shows in their advertising that their product is 99.9% effective because anything can happen in 0.1%. Let us understand it with an example. Suppose a small piece is brought to the laboratory for testing and that piece contains about 10 million microorganisms and a soap is used on them to kill all the microorganisms. But that soap kills up to 99.9% .9 of microorganisms present on the piece leaving behind 0.1% of the microorganisms. Of the 10 million microorganisms, 99.9% .9 of them are killed and the remaining 0.1% which is 1000 in number. So is it possible that 1000 microbes can reproduce and increase their numbers? Yes, it is absolutely possible. They increase their numbers back through reproduction and the reproduction process in the microorganisms is much faster than the reproduction in humans. But reproduction in microbes requires an adapted environment and the human body is the proper place for them to reproduce quite rapidly. That's why soap makers claim 99.9% .9 of their soap's effectiveness in advertising because the effectiveness of soap on microorganisms is studied in a laboratory in a clean and safe environment. The external environment is quite different. We where many types of microorganisms are present, but still that 0.1% is very dangerous for humans considering millions of germs present on our skin. So they may be technically correct, but practically wrong.